Hi everyone, I'm going to do a bridal look. My last video uploaded in 30 minutes, so there's going to be tons more videos coming now that I know that's it's worked. So first I'm going to apply some Witch Radiant Serum. And it's got a lovely golden dewy look. You only need a little bit. I'm just going to apply it all over my face. It's just got a nice glow to it and it does perk your skin up a little bit. Right, now that you've done that, you just want to dry your hands off the towel. Now we're going to apply some Stila Cloud eyeshadow all over our eyelid right up to the brow bone. We'll get in close so you can see with a huge brush because you're going to cover the whole area so it doesn't matter how big your brush is just go right to the eyebrow bone like that and then down you want to cover the whole lot we're going to make this lovely light and neutral that's your base same again on the other eye We're going to take Cassis or Cassie, which is a purple one, and we're going to apply that with this little. It's squared off, and we're going to apply this out there. The makeup brush sets. And we're just going to apply that into the outer corner. Just slightly dab it on. Bring it up. I'm not so much blending today, but blotching it in, if that makes sense. So you just get a subtle little corner look. So you're just going to blotch it in like that. It's the best way I can come up with. Kind of sticking it in, rather than blending, like we usually do. It's tiny and subtle. That's what we're going to go for, because it's a subtle bridal look. Same again on this side. Better off doing it in this camera, because... No, can't see. The light's terrible. So I end up with one eye different than the other one. See? It's different on different sides. little bit more in that inner corner. Now once you've got your purple on, we're going to put some black. It's the black and matte eyeshadow and it's called Ebony and it's by Stiller. And we're just going to wet with a little eyeliner brush. Just get a wet wipe. Always keep wet wipes to hand because they come in handy when you need to dampen stuff. Or you can use pigment mixing medium to get like a nice wetness. I'm just going to dab that into there. Wet hands again. I'm going to take it across your eyeshadow like that. Dab any excess off on your hand because you don't want big chunky lumps. But you can also use your hand and pretend it's a palette and take the colour from that. I'm going to hold your eye and you're just going to apply it gently to the lash line. And when you get to the corner, the outer corner, you want to bring the colour up and blend it just a little into the purple that you've done. The good thing about doing eyeshadow for eyeliner is that you get to create a subtle, smudgy, smokiness look. and it's actually quite a very pretty look. Now I know Elaine, who works with Barry M, she, when she got married, she got married in purples and she was interested in having a look at this look. Do 
to the same on the other eye. And remember to blend it up into the purple just as you get to the outer corner and just over a little bit more This is a nice sweet and innocent bridal look. Then we're going to apply a little bit of the black eyeshadow again on the same brush to the bottom lash line. Just gently though. Do it and apply it wet as well, just dampen it a little bit. And you just want to smoke it along. I've got a little bit in my eye, but we'll soon get that out. That's because it was dry and it wasn't damp. So make sure you have it damp and it won't it shouldn't go in your eye as much. To the underneath of the eye. Actually it's not white, it's again cloud, it's the one that we've done all the base with. going to apply a little bit of it on the underside just beside where your tear ducts are and then blend that out into the black going halfway to give that cute white look in the inside of your eye also looks like you're awake and you're a bit more fresh and then when you've done that you're going to put some blush on and we're using a Blaze by MAC because it's all I can find and it's a nice colour. The Barry M Bronzer Blush Brush and we're just going to take it a little bit, smile and bring it up and into the temples in a, like a curly k kind of motion. Now the reason I'm squashing it is so you can get more of contoured. Now we're going to put some highlight on. See? I'm going to put some highlight on. And I'm just using any brush. This one will do. And it's the one out the brush set. Apply your highlighter on, which is the Barry M Translucent Powder. And we're just going to dab the excess off and just sweep it gently under your eye, over the top of the blush. Then we're going to finish off with some nice pink lips. And we're using the Gosh Pink Peony Lip Liner. 